They say art transcends language, caste, creed or geographical barriers. And if the artiste is an iconic acclaimed veteran of innumerable magnificent performances, the represented form does become classic and the performer a virtuoso. And this master continues to inspire and innovate. Dance is a powerful vehicle to communicate the magic, beauty and mystery of life. Critiques call it rare dance vitality. Lata Pada is an iconic figure, Canada's first lady of South Asian dance. A charming and polite soul, but with a clear vision and will to carry it through. Her works skillfully balance the demands of an ancient art with the tastes of modern, multicultural audiences. It is no exaggeration to say that today Bharatnatyam in North America is synonymous with her name. She has provided a unique niche to this art form by fusing Indian dance with Western cultural elements. You have been a virtuoso, a person involved in the art field and art world of Canada. You have made a big name for yourself and you have made us all proud Indians. Let me ask you this question, what, how does it feel? I think it's a great blessing for me to be doing what I love doing and to have made my career in the art of dance, the passion that I have been following for many decades. And it's truly a privilege that I've got the opportunity to follow my dream and to work in dance and to have been able to realize my own vision for dance here in Canada. I had no idea that I would be at this point in my life uh, where I can say that my dance company and my dance academy celebrate 25 years next year in 2015. Wow, beautiful. And it's a long journey. It's a journey that has been very rewarding, not without its challenges. And uh, I think particularly feel very rewarded that I have brought Indian dance to the mainstream here Absolutely. in Canada. Absolutely. We all are fully aware about it. How would it define Bharat Natyam? I mean, isn't that the main stream of your dance? Yes, Bharatanatyam is the dance form that I have trained in, the only dance form that I've trained in. And I've been very, very fortunate to have the best of the gurus uh, who have guided me, who have mentored me. Bharatanatyam is essentially a South Indian classical dance form. But today I would say it's a pan-global dance form. Because just about in any part of the world, even I believe in Yellowknife, there is somebody who is teaching Bharatanatyam, performing it, practicing it. So it's a global dance form. It's a very dynamic, very precise, and very disciplined dance uh, movement form. And so when I teach it here in Sampradaya Dance Academy, I think people don't realize that it takes 12 to 15 years of training to even become a moderate dancer let alone becoming a fantastic dancer. So it is very, very highly sophisticated vocabulary, very precise, it's elegant, it's got rhythm, it's got abhinaya that tells 
the beautiful stories of the mythology of India. I think it's a dance form that is beautiful, that is complete, and that gives scope for doing anything. It can express poetry from South America. It can dance to a Japanese haiku poem. It can reflect the, the uh, aspirations of people from South Africa. It can tell stories in many languages. I think it's one of the most versatile. So, so when you say many languages, it would basically still be the music is Indian or the Japanese or South American, but the form of dance is going to be still the Bharatanatyam and the Indian form. That's right, but that form adapts itself. If I am, say, collaborating with a flamenco artist, then of course Bharatanatyam will, will undergo some kind of you know, transformation to be able to sync with the flamenco. I've done collaborations with Korean dancers, Japanese dancers, flamenco, modern dance, just about any part of the world. The repertoire that makes it wholly Bharatanatyam classical South India. So it, uh, it's how you interpret it because it's a language. I had an opportunity to see one of your shows, the Muntaz, Taj Mahal, Kabir right. Bedi had come right. from India right. and uh, that show mesmerized me. I did not know a few things about that show. Mm -hmm. Despite having learned the history of India and the Mughal Emperor right. times, I, I still found it was very, very fascinating. And I'm sure our Canadian audiences who were there, a lot of them I saw, must have found it equally intriguing. How did you get inspired to do that particular show? That's an interesting question because Bharatanatyam doesn't normally deal with themes that uh, that are of the Mughal culture and the Mughal ethos. But I'm a proud Indian. The Taj Mahal is something that we all celebrate and recognize as iconic. But for me, the human story behind the Taj was even more fascinating. Mm -hmm. And I was particularly fascinated by the character of uh, Jahanara, yeah. daughter of Emperor Shah Jahan. And I felt that there was a, a beautiful story to be told between father and daughter relationship. So this particular production, Taj, was set within that whole environment of Jahanara's conversation with her father in his last days as he's dying in the Agra fort and is prevented by Aurangzeb to even go to the Taj Mahal. Right. And of course, I used Kathak in this dance uh, production. Kathak is not my dance form, so I invited India's most celebrated Kathak choreographer, Padma Bhushan Kumudini Lakya, to do the choreography. It was an excellent. Okay. It was very, very nice. I personally enjoyed my wife, my whole family, who was attending there, and a few of my friends who came. They're all they're definitely very proud of you of doing that. At tender age of eight, you started your Bharat Natyam or learning the dance at, at eight. What was the influence? to start so long? Well, eight years old is a very typical age when young girls in India start their dance training. I'm from Bangalore and in South India, uh, you know, the emphasis on the arts is very important. My family has been very much, you know, in the arts. And uh, so it was only natural that I would start training in dance. But today in my academy here, mm -hmm. my students are as young as four years old. At, at four, I'm not teaching them the hardcore dance form. Right. I'm just allowing them to explore their creativity. And probably self-discipline. Self-discipline, understanding how to work with others, how to understand concepts of space, of rhythm, of teamwork. I've been doing so for nine years, so since I was a very little girl. And this is basically my home, my second home away from home. 
and um, this is sort of like a world of its own that Latanti's created. And for me, it's somewhere where I can come to de-stress, to um, get away from my school life, and really explore the artistic side of me. I've been learning um, about Nati and Sampradaya for nine years now. And um, I truly feel that Lata Anti has created a completely enriching environment where dancers can grow, they can um, really learn what their culture, what the Indian culture is about and how Bharatanatyam is such a, um, a deep-rooted and historical and culturally enriched dance. There is so much more to know about Lata and her life. We have all that and more coming up for you after this break. Stay with us. चिराग निकले सदके जाऊ तुम पर तुम पर भी सदके जाऊ अमन की दाले और पल्स साफ सुथरी और स्वाद ऐसी भरपूर हार्ट एंड स्ट्रोक फाउंडेशन के हेल्थ चेक के साथ सभी ग्रोसरी स्टोर पर अवेलेबल Celebrate this Dasara and Diwali with the live performance of Ram Leela by Indian Revival Group from New Delhi. To book the Ram Leela in your city, call Ajay Modi at 416-505-8590. Hi, I'm Bosco. I'm Caesar. Bosco and Caesar are coming to make you dance. Starting in Toronto. Dance and exercise with, with Bosco Caesar. BCDC is coming to your city. Be a part of the BCDC family. Register now. White Turtle and Sunray Entertainment presents BCDC in Toronto. Limited seats. Log on to www.dancewithboscocesar.com. Follow Dance with Bosco Caesar on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, Instagram. For registrations, call toll free number on one triple eight four seven one one triple six. Lata has had sizable recognition as a performer.
countless awards are a testimony to her popularity. A most recent appointee as a new member of the Order of Canada. It's a very important uh, milestone in my life. I was the first South Asian artist to receive the Order of Canada. And for me, wow. it was not just a personal accomplishment, but a collective accomplishment, which means that the arts of India are very important in Canada and that they are recognized by the government of Canada. I think my vision has, has resulted in it being recognized as a world art form, one that proudly takes its place on Canadian main stages, one that speaks to all Canadians, one that is relevant and accessible to Canadians from every part of the world. So for me, the Order of Canada was a recognition of all of that. The Order of Canada is the Government of Canada's highest honor for Canadians who have made a significant contribution in, in their world of expertise. Grace the poise and the beauty of a living legend that you are. You are an avid orator. You lecture all around Canada. Would you be able to tell us something more about this, actually what you do and how you do this? You always find the time when you love what you do. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do work very really hard. My days are long, but I do try and fit in all my challenges about speaking, about uh, doing the lecture circuit in universities, in doing corporate workshops. And, um, you know, I, I, I do it because I love it. And I, I feel that I learn so much when I interact with people, whether they're in the arts, whether they're in the corporate world, whether they are in the academic world, uh, there's always so much for me to learn from the interactions. You started the Dance Academy 25 years ago. And how would you define your journey to our viewers? Well, the journey, as I said, I, it didn't start out with a, a goal that I was going to start Canada's foremost Indian dance company. It started out with loving what I do. It started out with this incredible passion that I had. But it also, I think, rested in a place where I believed that the classical traditions, dance traditions, and music traditions of India are so rich and so dynamic, and that I had a responsibility to demystify it here in Canada. Because many people think of Indian dance and Indian music as something that's ancient, something that's sacrosanct, that cannot be touched, and must not be diluted. I, I disagree with that because I feel that the Indian arts, as of the arts from any other part of the world, are dynamic. They continue to evolve and they continue to grow with the many influences that they are part of. So for me, I've almost taken it up as a mission to say to my Canadian audiences that Indian dance is alive it is in the here and now of who we are as Canadians. What an incredible thing to say. The enigmatic Lada Pada and her life journey. There's more on her on the other side of this commercial break. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Bosco. I'm Caesar. Bosco and Caesar are coming to make you laugh. 
you dance. Starting in Toronto. Dance and exercise with, with Bosco Caesar. BCDC is coming to your city. Be a part of the BCDC family. Register now. Why Turtle and Sunray Entertainment presents BCDC in Toronto. Limited seats. Log on to www.dancewithboscocaesar.com. Follow Dance with Bosco Caesar on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, Instagram. For registrations, call toll free number on one triple eight four seven one one triple six. Celebrate this Dasara and Diwali with the live performance of Ram Leela by Indian Revival Group from New Delhi. To book the Ram Leela in your city, call Ajay Modi at 416-505-8590. journey from the land of mystical to this alien world altogether. Lata brings a contemporary worldview to her award-winning intercultural and interdisciplinary creations, all with quiet ease. I don't see India only as being mystical and ancient. I see India as a country that has an incredible continuum between tradition and modernity. Canada has its own history. And I think that is as important for me to, to learn about and also to see where the confluences are between a country like India, a modern, contemporary, emerging world power, and Canada. And we have so much in common. And I think that is what we as Indo-Canadians here have, have so much to, uh, to contribute to and to celebrate. Uh, one of your choreographic work has been known very well, Revealed by Fire. It's the work, a uh, woman's journey of transformation. If I have said it rightly, what inspired you to do that particular? I think the uh, genesis for Revealed by Fire was my own personal experience. The experience <coughs> of the terrible tragedy of the Air India bombing in 1985. As you know, Anil, I lost my first husband and my two daughters on that flight. And it was a terrible, catastrophic event for both Canada as a country and for me personally, as somebody who suffered True. such a tragic event. It is, it is a tragic event. And I think from that event, I started a new journey in my life. One that forced me to confront myself, mm -hmm. forced me to ask questions about the inequities in life. So I went back 
and I studied and I trained 15 hours a day, not even worrying about sleep, about food, about anything. But it, for me, that journey was very empowering. Still, I had not thought about Revealed by Fire at that point. The most important thing about a tragedy like this is that there is so much unresolved anger. There are so many questions. There's so much that was unanswered about the tragedy, about the entire justice system, the entire police and the RCMP and CSIS, their investigation. So, you know, it was a, a bubbling cauldron of anger, of questions, of hopelessness, of joy, of dance. It was all of that, but it took me 15 years to have the courage to do, to start on that journey of creating this work. And I chose to do it on International Women's Day in March of 2000. So for me, that was a very important statement. But I think what was very, very beautiful about Revealed by Fire is three years later, I took it to India, to tour India. And I honestly was very nervous about how it would be accepted in India because, you know, it's, it's a very powerful work, it's an individual work, it's a very personal choreography. I was truly nervous and most of all, to take it to Mumbai to my guru mm -hmm. and to have this doyen of dance who comes from a parampara of dance gurus to watch this dance on the stage where normally we dance about Sita, about Draupadi, about the Ramayana, but we don't dance about personal stories. But he was so touched. He had tears in his eyes when he said to me, I'm very proud of you. Continue to be strong. We are also grateful to him, to be honest with you, what he has created. What would you like to tell our viewers, particularly the kids, so that they feel necessary to come and learn about this dance form? I think what I would say to, to any dancer who wants to, you know, make dance something very important in her life or his life, I would just say follow your dream. But understand that the road to success, the road to accomplishment, means hard work. Nothing is achieved overnight. But enjoy it. Enjoy the art form. And every day you will discover its magic to make you happy, to make you fulfill and to make you feel that you're an important part of society. One of these walls is the Arangetram wall, and uh, this is the classical graduation in Bharatanatyam, um, where the solo artist kind of performs and graduates. And so we have this wall right over here, and um, it kind of gives us students something to look up to and something to really aim towards, which is completely beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I completely melt in that world of Bharatanatyam because of the way she teaches us. They say legends are not born, they are created. Ladapada and Bharatanatyam are intertwined and irrevocable. The artistry, choreographic versatility and visionary leadership are exemplary. A perfect amalgamation of everything that is pristine and scintillating. Ladapada, an arts advocate par excellence. Being at the studios of Lataji, inside the Sampradaya Dance Academy, was like being to a temple and meditating through the medium of dance. The elegant moves of Bharatanatyam with the sound and beats of music were ever soothing. And I wished I could dance.